Hey everybody, uh, this is Mike Piccinato. He Hi, is our friend from Germany. Him and his wife and three kids serve with the CMA in Berlin. And uh, they've been here all week. We went to Suffolke and they just got back from the Louvre today. Is that we right? did, yeah. And um, this week I thought, you know, you've heard a lot about our ministry. What else is happening in the Alliance around the world? So um, we're going to go get Alyssa and check out what they do. Hi, I'm Mike Piccinato and it's been great spending this last week visiting with the Hintons and this is my wife Alyssa and we are Christian Missionary Alliance missionaries in Berlin, Germany serving northeastern Germany. And we have three children, Johanna who just had her 13th birthday in Paris and Caleb who's 10 and Joshua who's almost 8. And right now we are in the middle of language learning. We are within a couple of steps of the Hintons. So we started our journeys almost to the same time. And um, yeah, so we spend most of our time learning German and our kids have started in a German language school this year. So they spend almost all their time in German. And um, it's, it's exciting and it's strange and it's different. And, um, but we're making it through with God's help and lots and lots of prayers. And our goal in Germany is to plant churches in Northeast Germany. Northeast Germany is one of the highest atheistic populations in the world. And um, just walking the streets of Paris over the last week as we've been visiting with the Hintons, you can just see some of the similar problems in Paris as we also have in Germany. There's just such a high level of, of secularism. And it's not that people walk around hating God. It's just that often they have absolutely no clue or concept who God is and what God can do for their lives. And so it's one of the reasons we are so appreciative for a denomination like the Christian and Missionary Alliance that puts such a high value on language learning because we know we really want to talk to people about the things that matter, their hearts and um, why they need a God. And with just a couple months of language learning, there's just no way you can do that. So as we're entering into our second year of language study and as the Hintons are are getting ready to um, enter into their second six months. It's just great to know that there's people investing into us so we can learn the language. And we're looking forward to having deeper conversations with people about things that matter and about hearing more from our friends John and Mary Beth about what God is doing in their lives and how he's launching and using their gifts in the arts and in ministry to be able to touch the hearts of not just people in Paris but around the world. How can we pray for you guys? Our kids, like I said, they just started, they changed schools again. Um, so this is their second school in two years. and Fourth they, school in four years. Fourth school in four years with all the transitions. So <laughs> that's never something we thought we'd be having with our children. And um, so that they would be able to um, feel roots and to have some very good friends, um, German speaking and English. And uh, so that's one of our top prayer requests. And then for energy and wisdom on how we spend our time. And I would add just to that contacts in our German culture where we can really begin to form more deep friendships um, with people that aren't English speakers but that really are German speakers. And um, just for the church that we're a part of, that God plugs us in in the right places, that we can use our gifts and uh, that our language continues to progress. I think with that we say tschüss which just means goodbye <laughs> thank you <laughs> Danke.